What is going on guys? It's Caleb here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone has had a great weekend. In today's video, we're going to tour three pool homes here in Central Florida that are going to be priced for under $400,000. So I'm excited to put this video together for you guys. We're going to start in Haines City, then we're going to go to Davenport, and then we're going to finish in Claremont, Florida. And then lastly, we're going to go to International Drive and check out this place called JoJo's Shake Bar. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Well guys, we just got to Haines City. We're actually out in the country right now. And um, it's pretty rural, but overall, like this community is very nice. And this pool home is only $324,000. It's actually recently had a $21,000 price reduction. And we are very impressed. I've actually never been in this community before. It's called Largo Golf Estates. And uh, I'm excited to show you guys this property. What do you think so far? It's beautiful. It's a beautiful area and the houses here they all look really nice and well preserved yeah so what we're going to do i'm going to show you guys a quick look at the street view because you have like a brand new like modern house right next to it and then like all the houses look really really good so i'm going to go ahead and turn the camera around real quick give you guys a quick look at the street view all right so here's a look at the house that we're going to go ahead and tour here in a moment but uh, like i said i want to give you guys a quick look at the street view there's a look to the right and then this is the modern house uh, right here just uh to the left hand side and then i'll also show you some other ones in the back of this house it doesn't have any immediate rear neighbors which is great but um you'll see more as we get in but anyways it features three bedrooms it has two full baths it has 1509 square feet of interior space sitting on a 0.14 acre lot does have a pretty reasonable hoa it's only 25 dollars a month and uh as you'll see inside it's been completely renovated so there's nothing you have to do I actually have a couple buyers in mind right now that i think would really like this property and when i say Haines city too a lot of people think that it's in the middle of nowhere but you do have some grocery stores and dining and stuff like that i would say with about 20 to 25 minutes away so it's a little further out than obviously in the city but um you know if you want to be out as in an area that's a little bit more rural quiet and there's also not too much traffic i definitely think this would be something to consider again it was built in 2006 and um it is available for three hundred and twenty four thousand dollars. so voila so as we get in you have a look at the living room space is pretty open. You got nice high vaulted ceilings and then to the left hand side, we'll find the kitchen space. So we'll just actually go ahead and tour this right now. You have granite countertops, white wood cabinets, um, obviously stainless steel appliances. There's a look at the microwave, oven, dishwasher, sink. Do like that window right there. And then also this breakfast nook area, just, uh, just past it is nice as well because it has all these windows here that create a lot of natural light and give um, all that sunshine to this space here. So anyways, nice little pantry as well. I didn't expect it to be too big, but you know, this house is only 1500 or so square feet. So not a very big house in general, but I do like the floor plan, which I think you guys will agree for what this house is. And obviously it does have a pool. So just to the opposite side of the door, we have the washer and dryer hookup area and then the but door that will give us access to the two car garage and then also that door just leads out to the side of the house so you can go in and out without actually opening the garage door if um if you choose so not too bad and it is a split floor plan as well so we have the first two bedrooms which will be on the right hand side and then the primary suite will be on the left and then I just want to give you a quick look at this whole space. So we have the dining room uh, area just right there. So very, uh, very impressed, especially for this price and um, and layout and just how uh, how they did the renovation. I think it was very, very well done. So anyways, here's a look at bedroom number one and uh, decent sized bedroom, not too big, not too small very workable and then we have a look at the closet space and then just right in between these first two bedrooms we're going to go to 
we have a look at the first full bath, sink, vanity, toilet, and I believe it has a shower tub. Yeah, there we go. I didn't go in here all the way when I got here, but uh, let's look at the shower tub combo. I love how they brought the tile all the way to the top of the ceiling there. I really, uh, really like when they do that. Anyways, we'll get to bedroom number two. And this one actually feels a little bigger than bedroom number one, which I think is great. And then again, there's a look at the closet space. And lastly will be bedroom number three, and then we'll go check out the pool. I love these sliding glass doors. And then you got uh, a little bit more window uh, up just right above that. So here's a look at the third and final bedroom, which will be the primary suite. And just behind me where I'm actually at right now from this view, we actually do have another window. So I just want to make sure you guys see that as well. And then you, you know, you can see the pool and stuff like that. So there is two windows within this, uh, this bedroom as well. So anyways, let's go ahead and tour the primary Ooh, squeaky sh pocket door is nice, but you know, obviously you gotta fix the squeak, but uh, let's go ahead and take a quick tour of the primary bath. We've got double sinks, same uh, countertops matching the kitchen, beautiful walk-in shower and um, got our linen closet, toilet, and then the little walk-in closet. So, I mean, you have everything, you know? So I think that's great. And uh, anyways, I think this would be great for, you know, maybe a small family or maybe a couple, you know, that doesn't need too much space, but if they just, whoo, we're really getting the squeaky doors today. But uh, anyways, as I was saying, it'd be good for maybe a couple, maybe a small family um that are just looking for something you know maybe on the low end lower end especially when it comes to you know pool homes uh right now in this market and the pricing that uh they currently are so anyways nice pool looks like it needs to be cleaned a little bit obviously um but for the most part all the screens look good and then look at the properties around it beautiful homes uh just around this whole community i think they're they're absolutely lovely so Anyways, that will be it for this tour, guys. I believe I showed you everything. So uh, that will be all, and uh, we'll keep going. Well, guys, we just got to the next property here in Davenport, Florida. We're actually in beautiful Highlands Reserve. It's actually a golf community. I've, uh, I've actually played a couple rounds on this course. It's actually very affordable. Um, pretty decent golf course. I'll have some aerial shots of uh, the surrounding area so you guys can get a better idea of uh, exactly what this community looks like. But it's right off Highway 27, close to Disney, uh, close to really everything around here. Grocery stores, dining, shopping, um, everything you can think of is within minutes from this particular community. So uh, I'm excited to get in here and show you guys a quick tour of this property. It features four bedrooms. You have two full baths. Um, it has 1,662 square feet of interior space. It's got a newer roof. It's got a very reasonable HOA, uh, especially for a golf community. It's only $48 a month. And um, it's sitting on a 0 0.15 acre lot. It does have a nice pool, as you will see. And it was built in 2002 and is currently on the market for $400,000. So let's go ahead and hop inside real quick and take a quick tour. All right, so let's go ahead and close the door. There we go. All right, so as we get in, it is pretty open for the most part, um, especially for a house that was built in 2002. We have some windows all throughout, and then obviously the uh, big sliding glass um, doors just at the end there. Um, that will lead out to the pool space, but uh, we'll just go ahead and start the tour to the right-hand side, which will find the kitchen space. And um, as you guys can see, it's not, you know, completely updated with everything that a lot of people are expecting now, but um, it is very clean, let me tell you. It is very clean. You do have stainless steel appliances, which is a plus, nice high ceilings. Just look at the microwave, you got your oven, your refrigerator, and then uh, just to this little, uh, corner here we'll see the breakfast nook space 
And I believe this is actually, this should be the pantry. So let's see what we have. Oh, wow, I'm impressed. I actually did not expect this at all. I thought it was gonna be all little like everything else uh, that we tour around here. <laughs> but uh, that's actually very surprising. So uh, I'm, uh, I think that's a great, great feature. At least you have a decent sized pantry. So um, anyways, as we move forward, there's a look at the washer and dryer space there. And it's actually just on the way to the entry and exit to the two car garage, as you'll see. So just a regular uh, two car garage. So look at the water heater. And uh, that will conclude that. So let's go ahead and continue. We got our living room and dining space. The dining space is actually just right here in this area. And then we have the living room space uh, just right here. So um, anyways, let's go ahead and go to the right hand side again and check out the, this is actually the primary suite. And uh, it's actually a really nice size overall. Remember this house is only 1600 or so square feet. So um, it's overall, it's not that you know big of a house, but um, I actually, I actually like the layout. I don't think the layout is too bad at all. There we go. That looks better. But I want to give you guys a look at the closet. The closet is small. So you do have some closet space just right there to the left. Uh, some more closet space to the right. And then just through this door here, we'll find additional um, closet space as you can see. So um, yeah, only downfall through uh, this bedroom that I can see here is that, uh, you know, closet space are very small, but it is what it is. Anyways, as we get to the primary bathroom, we got our double sinks, walk-in shower, and then we have the uh, toilet just right there. The shower is actually pretty big. I mean, obviously, ooh, obviously we can use, you know, a good updating or so, but overall the space is nice. So maybe put some new tile or something around it and really upgrade it. I think it would be a really, really nice, uh, nice shower. So. Anyways, let's keep going and uh, check out the remaining bedrooms and bathrooms. And then lastly, we'll get out to the pool and backyard space, which uh, I think is why most of you guys are watching the video. So anyways, here's a look at the next full bath. Uh, you do have the double sinks, toilet, shower tub combo there. And um, we have our final three bedrooms just right here. So we'll just go ahead and start with this one. And uh, as always, you guys know I go to the corner here just to give you guys a decent look at the space. And uh, this is a pretty, you know, medium sized bedroom, I'd say. I do like the window there where you can uh, see the, the pool and whatnot. So there's a look at the closet. Now let's go ahead and make our way to the second bedroom on this side. So this would be bedroom number three, and it's pretty identical to the second bedroom that we just left. So nice high ceilings, which are great. And then we have our fourth and final bedroom just right here. And again, appears to be about the same, same size when I walk in. So uh, anyways, there's a look at that. Nice high ceilings and they have fans as well. So let's go ahead and get to the pool and backyard space, which I think you guys will like. And uh, again, I love these big sliding glass windows here, which, uh, or not windows, sliding glass doors, excuse me, that uh, let in a lot of natural light. And then check out this pool deck. Looks like it was actually just painted not too long ago, but uh, you got a nice undercover space uh, just right here, which I'm actually standing under right now, fully enclosed and screened in. I do like the landscape that they use as well. They put some rock and then you do have a little uh, rock feature just, just right over there to the edge there and then more uh, pool deck space as well. So plenty of room for chairs and uh, everything like that to accommodate your friends and family. So um, anyways, nice uh, pool looks great as well. So I believe that will be it for this tour guys. Let's go ahead and make our way to the next one.
All right, folks, so we've just made it to our next property here in Claremont, Florida. This is absolutely a beautiful community. It's called Glenbrook Subdivision, and it's right off of Highway 27, close to Highway 192. You're only about 25 minutes away from Disney World, so uh, just for a little reference there as far as location, but uh, very, very good location. This property is actually a short-term rental property. I do What I do love about this community, guys, is that you can rent these properties out in the short-term rental market if you want to, or you can live here full-time, whatever you want to do, just depending on your lifestyle. But um, this property that we're going to go see is being sold fully furnished. It features four bedrooms. It has two full baths, 1,412 square feet of interior space, has had a recent price reduction of $25,000. It was originally on the market for $425, and now it is being offered for $400,000. It was built in 2005. It's sitting on a 0.13 acre lot. The owners did an absolute wonderful job with it. As you guys will see when we get inside, it's decorated very, very, very nicely. And it comes with future bookings as well if you do decide you want to purchase this property. So I believe that'll be all the specs for now. So let's go ahead get inside, take a quick look. All right. All right, guys, a little warning. We do have a squeaky door to deal with, but all taken care of. So anyways, as we get in, you do have tile flooring all throughout. It looks so good in here. I love what they did with the furniture. Um, we got some high ceilings and especially a home that was built in 2005. Um, I, I think they did a wonderful job and I, I can definitely see why it's being rented out so well. And then, so we have the first bedroom, which is just right here to the left hand side. And it looks like it has a queen size bed in it. And, uh, like I said, nice tile flooring, all the, uh, the ceiling height is really good as well in these bedrooms. Um, so it makes it feel really, uh, makes it feel bigger than what it really is. So. Um, anyways, like I said, everything that you see here is what you get. So you just buy it and, you know, start making money. So that's, uh, doesn't get much easier than that. But as we get into the, uh, kitchen area, we have the kitchen just right here to the left. We got the dining room to the right hand side. And then just a little further down, you'll see the living room space. So there's a quick look at the kitchen. It's not very big as you can see, but you do have everything that you, uh, that you need, but let's just go ahead and go to the right hand side. I want to show you guys the entry and exit to the garage space. And in most of these short term rental homes here in this area, the garages will be converted into game rooms uh, just to give your guests, uh, you know, more value and more things to do while they're on vacation. So as we get into the kitchen, we have stainless steel appliances, granite countertops, and then look at all this stuff. It's just, it's so nice how they do everything. This is one of the nicer short-term rental properties I've seen in a while. So um, I don't know who their property manager is, but they have done a great job and uh, everything is so clean, which is very, very noticeable. So anyways, we've got the washer and dryer just right there. Uh, some cabinet space just right above. And then I want to give you guys a quick look at the whole kitchen area right here. There's a look at the refrigerator we got our sink and then we got our dishwasher i love how you have a whole bunch of bar seating just right here as well which is nice and then we have our dining room just right across and then look at how high these ceilings are you got vaulted ceilings so it feels nice and open in here decent sized living room obviously you can't expect it to be too big because the house is only 1412 square feet then we have these sliding glass doors that will lead out to the pool space which we'll get to here momentarily but let's go ahead and continue we'll go to the right hand side see the next two bedrooms so we have bedroom number two just right here and you have some bunk beds for the little kids and uh, there's a look at the closet and then we'll have bedroom number three just right there but first we'll go ahead and show you guys the full bath shower tub combo and then we have our third bedroom just right here as well and then also it has a sliding glass door that will give them access to the pool space from this bedroom as well which is nice so anyways that will do it for the first three bedrooms let's go ahead and make our way to the primary suite and then i'll give you guys a tour of the backyard and pool it does have a spot as well so you really have everything you need here 
uh, for either vacation home or if you just you know want to live here as well you're more than welcome to do that uh, these scenarios work really well for people that are either moving from you know across the country they don't want to bring all their furniture they can just move right in and you know use this furniture and not have to deal with that so there are some really good good things about you know buying homes that are fully furnished anyways here's a look at the primary bath you got your walk-in shower toilet sink and vanity and that will do it actually for the primary bedroom tour let's go outside and check out the pool space and uh that should conclude the tour of this property so anyways as we go out there's a look at the pool deck and then one thing i love about it too is uh you have a little privacy right there you do see the roof of roof line of the other house but um at least you do have some of the privacy shrubs uh just to kind of make it a little bit more private but plenty of pool deck space have some nice chairs, little area there for some shade. And then obviously you have the guy mowing the grass there. So um, anyways, let's go ahead and go back inside. I believe that will be it for this tour, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And that will be all. Well guys, we have decided to eat here at International Drive at The Point. We're actually going to this new place. It's called Jojo Shake Bar. It's actually only been open for a little, almost actually a year now in March. So still under a year, so it's relatively new. But uh, the reason I was actually attracted to this place, because I've seen a couple videos online and they have amazing mac and cheese. And to me, nothing else matters in life more than mac and cheese. So obviously they're gonna have a lot of shakes and stuff like that. So what are you excited to uh, check out? I'm just here for the shakes, you know, I have a sweet tooth. <laughs> so yeah, anyways, we're gonna go ahead and showcase this whole place. They have a lot going on in there. So uh, let's go ahead, get inside and uh, check this place out. Getting into the restaurant was like going back in time. They had 80s and 90s music that matches the vintage style of the restaurant. We were received by friendly staff and it was a surprise to see that most of the customers were young and definitely not born in the 80s and 90s at all. The restaurant had plenty of space with a retro look, a nice bar and wall decor that goes along with the theme. From old games to cool photos and wallpaper, we loved the vibe. We decided to sit outside to take advantage of the beautiful weather and went straight to the menu. They have a little bit of everything, from cocktail drinks to snacks, salads, sandwiches, and on the other side of the menu, they have shakes. And that's what I'm here for. These big shakes come in different flavors and have cool names like Three's Company, which is the strawberry one, and the Rocky Four, which is the banana and Reese's Pieces shake. They also offer shake bars, hot chocolates, coffee, tea, and more. We order appetizers knowing that the shake was like 2,000 calories by itself. So we got the famous baked mac and cheese and buffalo wings with barbecue sauce. Everything looked yummy. I was excited about the mac and cheese as I love it freshly made and the barbecue buffalo wings looked amazing as well with carrots and celery on the side. This was a big moment for me as I couldn't wait to try this mac and cheese and let me tell you, it was delicious. The barbecue buffalo wings were tasty and juicy, just the way I like them. Since it was Valentine's week, love was in the air. We had such a great time and one of our subscribers came to say hi as she follows our channel. And my big moment arrived. We ordered the chocolate Nirvana shake. It is a chocolate Oreo shake with double chocolate donut hole, double chocolate marshmallow, and a chocolate chip cookie made to perfection. Of course, we wanted to share it to split the calories and it was amazing. One of the best shakes we've ever had. 
It was a challenge to eat it all with all the cookies, the donuts, the marshmallows, but I was determined to finish. She's really going to work on this thing. I gave up like five minutes ago and she's still at it. And it was done. JoJo Shake Bar is a cool spot to stop by if you are in Orlando. We had a great time and totally recommend it. Everything was good and we love the environment and service. We'll come back again sometime soon. Adios. All right, guys, that'll be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I have a goal of hitting 50,000 subscribers this year, so make sure to hit subscribe. Also, if you are looking to buy or sell here in Central Florida and or Tampa Bay, make sure to email me. My email will be down in the description below. For now, guys, that'll be it, and we'll see you guys in the next video.